Perl Tutorial Part 5 Arrays 2 This video carries on from the last video about arrays. Now <clears throat> to add or take away items from the end of an array, the right hand side of an array, we use push and pop. So if we want to add something to the end of an array we use push now if we print our array number one When using the push function, we can just keep pushing items onto the array and they will come up on the end of the array. We don't have to state what number in the array they are because we don't necessarily know how many items we have in our array. So now we have one and two in our array. We can just keep pushing items and they will just be loaded into our array. Now I'd like to show you how to remove an item from the right hand side of an array with the function pop which simply works like this. If we print our array again that will remove the last item from our array. Just one and two left. Again, as with push, we can just keep popping items off arrays. It's now down to one. Now we can also, for example, make an, a variable equal to an item that is popped off uh, an array. So for example we can the first item we pop off the array we can make that equal to a variable and then if we print our variable it should be the number three number three I'd now like to show you how to remove and add items from the left hand side of an array. So let's create an array of our words. Now if we'd like to remove or add from the left hand side we use shift or unshift. So to add something to the left hand side of an array we use unshift. So we can type in unshift the name of our array Now if we print out our new array here we have now populated it with 
the word zero on the left hand side. So that's unshift. Now if we'd like to remove that item from the left hand side we use shift. So it's simply shift array and we print out our array and it will be back to how it was in the beginning. That's back to one, two, three. So that's shift and unshift.